For me, abuse started when I was a child, and that, I think, is where I learned to not love myself. I went to a gifted magnet school. I was the cheerleader. I was the captain. I was a people pleaser and started trying to please the wrong people. I began to experiment with the drug world that brought on a whole list of new bad things that were beginning to happen. I lost my children. I am a victim of domestic violence and I was raped twice in my lifetime. Because I was on drugs at the time, I chalked it up basically to the game as, it's my fault, you know? I went to a very, 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 very dark place. I was in a hotel room for months and months and months, and I was there to be kept. I was there to be beckoned for whenever he was ready for me, and the weird thing is, is I was okay with that. My abuse for my father started at four. I was pregnant at 11 before I even had my cycle, so what's one more person? If it'll keep me safe, and that's all I ever wanted, then I was ready, ready to endure. I was trafficked for seven years. Um, I, in that time, became a mother. There was a lot of drugs and alcohol, and I was just tired. I knew being called names and being having someone try to kill me was not good, and I shouldn't bring my son up in that environment. And it was an act of God that essentially freed me from that situation, and I was able to escape. Um, and take my son with me. Something came to me one night. I was paralyzed in darkness. I couldn't imagine waking up the next day. I opened up the phone book. I was in a haze at the time. I don't even remember actually making a choice to call new friends. I'm like that choice was made for me in some way because I was able to dial the number and someone was on the other end. I reached out to New Friends New Life. I needed to make a difference in myself. I wanted help for my, my soul. And they have done more than help me. They've helped me change my life. I really felt welcoming people. I can go in depth with my counselor and feel comfortable. I'm tired of hiding, lurking in the background. And I feel that it gives me strength to get it off my chest. She helped me walk through who I belong to. And I realized that's really what I've been chasing all this time. They taught me in a different way, not like, a, but girl, you need to take care of yourself. No, they showed me how. Our economic empowerment um, program helps um, doing various classes, uh, soft skills, hard skills classes, resume building, and the different classes that we provide um, give women the opportunity to recognize maybe gifts or talents that they didn't even realize they had. They helped me with bills. They showed me how to manage my finances. We have a four-phase program for women at New Friends New Life, and we're really allowing them to come in and be successful early on, hoping that that early success will then build momentum and, and help them to keep taking that next step forward. Adulting is hard, and when you have emotional problems, it's even harder. So I have someone essentially holding my hand and telling me, like, this is what you need to do, and it's very important to me. I started to find my voice spiritually. I belong to him. They offer so much more than just counseling. It's giving you a career, giving you a purpose. Employment is a critical stepping stone in our women's journeys. If she has that door slammed in her face because of a criminal background or because of a lack of work history or lack of experience, then she doesn't really have an opportunity or a chance at a new life. So it's critical that we partner with corporations who have the ability and the heart to do this on behalf of our women. We walk alongside them to make sure that this experience is not only beneficial for our women, but beneficial for the businesses as well. To become a vocational training partner has been, it's been the most amazing thing that's literally ever happened to me. Investing in women who have not 
had a chance who have been unseen is the best thing you could ever do. They are hardworking and they are dedicated. They want a new life. Watching this transformation occur for all of us, it's not just about them getting help. I've had amazing business results. I have more joy, life, and inspiration than I've had in years. It feels good to be somewhere where I'm accepted and I don't have to hide anything about myself. The more individuals that we can get involved from all different walks of life, the more opportunities we give our women. We're gonna make a big difference here in Dallas. You're actually enabling someone to make a lasting change. And we are weaving hope to these women who are then gonna weave hope to the next women behind them. I'm getting to accomplish dreams that I had that I thought would never happen that I gave up on. Oh, I work at a design studio now. Wow. I've been able to be a better parent to my son. New friends, new life stood for me when I couldn't stand for myself. I never knew unconditional love actually existed, but it does. I have so much hope for my life now and my future. There is another side to this. <laughs>